In this video we are going to look at the process used to create your own banners using sublimation and the super soft fabric. The first stage of the process is to create your image which you can do using Coral Draw, Word, Adobe, there's a variety of packages that you can use. I've created my image as you can see which we are then going to send to the Epson printer and the first stage of this process involves printing onto standard sublimation paper. So to send our image to the printer, if we go to file and print and we have to first of all look at the properties and make sure those are correct. So as you can see Epsom has been selected which will give us the ICC profile. We have the Epsom sublimation bulk ink system selected and very importantly we have the mirror image selected in the page layout section. So making sure those three points are taken care of we are now ready to print our image and to reiterate we are printing just onto standard sublimation paper. Now that we have our printed image, which again is just printed onto standard sublimation paper, we are ready to move on to the next stage of creating our banner, which involves using the heat press. Now that you have all your printed images onto your sublimation paper, the next stage is to lay them onto the super soft material to create your banner. Of course, paying careful attention to laying them accurately in preparation for the heat press. Now we are ready to use the heat press. It's a swing away press which has been set to 195 degrees for 60 seconds. I've already put in place the super soft fabric and placed my first image face down. And on top of this, to prevent the sublimation paper from moving, and also for protection, I am using the silicon sheet. And I am now going to press down. As you can see, the second timer is indicated, and also the temperature gauge. And once the second timer reaches the 60 seconds, it will sound a buzzer, which will indicate that the heat press process is complete.
the buzzer has now gone off, indicating that the heat press is complete. So I will pull away and some some paper. And as you can see, the image has now transferred to the super soft fabric to create our banner. And this is now a process that we will repeat for the rest of our designs in order to complete the banner. Now I am going to heat press the final image onto my super soft fabric using exactly the same process. Again, the timer, which is set for 60 seconds. And the timer has gone off, indicating that the heat press is complete. So we can take her, has come away, and we will now remove our sublimation paper to reveal the image on our super soft fabric. And as you can see, our completed banner using the super soft fabric.